This is CBC Here and Now. I think there are people in this community who have a lot of strong opinions on that topic. It has nothing to do with the gender or the sexuality of choice set. Keep trying. Progress is slow. The town of Springdale turns down a student group's request for a rainbow crosswalk to show solidarity with the LGBTQ community. A story that's bringing an outpouring of support to the Springdale students. Good evening, I'm Anthony Germain. And I'm Jeremy Eaton. The town council in Springdale is at the center of a controversy over LGBTQ rights. It refused a request by the Gender Sexuality Alliance at Indian River High School to paint a rainbow crosswalk. Students and teachers who are members of the Gender Sexuality Alliance at Indian River High asked council for help to paint the rainbow near the school. A painting crosswalks with the colors of the rainbow has become a symbol of solidarity with the LGBTQ community. Other cities and communities across the province have done it before, like the one you're looking at here and it happened in St. John's, but Springdale Council rejected the request. Mayor Dave Edison says councillors did not want to set a precedent. Send any message, as far as I'm concerned, if, uh, if, if a church came to me or a, or a group of colored people came to me and wanted to request something, you know, we would be saying the same thing. It's nothing, it has nothing to do with, uh, with the gender or the sexuality of choice that there has nothing to do. They accept it. I know for me personally, I accept, accept everybody, so, but I don't want to segregate. I don't, I'm here to run a town and I don't want to segregate and I certainly don't want to use tax dollars to do so. Well, the mayor says the students will get another chance to make their case Monday evening at the town's council meeting. And the school's Gender Student Alliance Association says it's looking forward to working with the town to try to find a solution and to educate council members about the meaning of the Rainbow Crosswalk. Meanwhile, a former student of Indian River High School says he's not surprised by the town's decision. Now, Ryan Reed tells us he's encountered homophobia in the town before. Reed is gay and studying to be a member of the clergy. I was hoping it would be passed, um, but as I said, it's not a big surprise when you've been fighting this battle as long as someone like me has. Um, I think it's a combination of two or three different things. I think it's a combination of small town a mentality um, and not a lot of, of um, being used to seeing a lot of diversity. I also think from people who are a bit more broad-minded on the issue, I think it's also a fear of being too vocal. Uh, it's still a small town, everybody knows everyone, and I, I think people are afraid to speak out. Rainbow crosswalks to support gay rights are not uncommon in this province. Several cities and towns have done this before. And the fact that Springdale is saying no has people talking. Here and now's Garrett Barry has been following some of the reaction. Garrett. Well, here in downtown St. John's, the Pride Crosswalk has become a little tiny bit of a fixture. It was first put here in this place in 2016. It came back last year, and we can be sure it's coming back this year, too. Yeah, it's a matter of course uh, that we do it now. It's, it's part of our, uh, uh, our recognition and our inclusiveness uh, agenda. The city paints these rainbow colors to celebrate Pride Week. Activists say it's more than just a bucket of paint. LBGTQ2 youth are a part of an invisible minority, which is why it's very important for communities to have signs and symbols around that are inclusive and that are uh, diverse. You see these symbols at Confederation Building in Cornerbrook and in Happy Valley Goose Bay. Gemma says it's even more important in small communities. Youth who are dealing with sexuality and gender identity have a higher rate of suicide. Um, they're bullied in schools, and this is happening more so uh, based on my own research and in terms of the outreach that I've done in rural communities. So it's very important to, um, to show support. Every community has to make their own choice, but in St. John's, Breen says the pride symbols have not divided his community. We, we hear complaints about everything that's, that, that we do, and. You know, we do hear some concerns, but on the generally overall, uh, it's been received quite positively. And, uh, and you know, we, uh, we think it's important and uh, a large number of uh, members of the public who contact us feel it's uh, important as well. Well, a lot of people have been talking about this story online today. Some have offered their encouragement and support to those Springdale students. Others are upset with the town's decision, including this tweet by Mrs. Yetman. 
I grew up gay in Carbonier. It was hard, very hard. Would have been life-changing just to have a friggin' rainbow crosswalk. This mayor has no idea how alienated these children sometimes are. A taste of the reaction coming in today. Reporting live for Here Now in St. John's, I'm Garrett Berry. Comedian Mark Critch also weighed in on Twitter with his reaction, telling people from the area who feel they don't have support that others do support Critch them. tweeted, if you're a LBGTQ kid in Springdale, please know there are a whole lot of people in Newfoundland and Labrador that support you. So what do you think about this? Do you have a story that we should know about? Get in touch. You can email us at hereandnow.nl at cbc.ca or send us a message on Facebook or on Twitter at cbcnl.